Padres, they have announced Padres TV today. It is their direct-to-consumer streaming platform that maybe will just be 2024. Maybe it will be for the rest of time. I know the Padres, it sure seems like they want it to be the rest of time, and that's just how things are shifting nowadays. And so I think a lot of Padres fans are excited. They're happy about this announcement. Some Padres fans only had cable because they wanted to watch Padres games, and so they were paying a lot of money just to watch one channel for Padres games. And so now it's going to be Padres TV and you pay $99.99 or $19.99 a month. Go with the full regular. If you're a Padres fan, go with the full regular season option. Just pay the $100 because you will save some money instead of going $20 a month for six months or however long uh, the, all of the, the games will cost you. But Padres.tv, so direct-to-consumer, seems like every game, not including the national TV broadcast during the season, you know how games were on Padres, or excuse me, they were on MLB TV when Bally dropped? It's going to be that, but for Padres TV. It's going to be on the Padres TV platform. I don't know if it's going to be in an app, like it's going to be a separate app that you have to download, but... If you go to the Padres social media pages, you click on that link, you will see Padres TV and the options. There's the MLB TV plus Padres TV option, and then there's just the Padres TV option that you can do. All spring training games, again, they're going to be free. It also says in this press release here that the two Korea games will also be free on Padres TV. They announced the full broadcast schedule, the broadcast team. If we go through the broadcast schedule, the first one will be February 22nd against the Dodgers at 12:10. That is on ESPN though, um, and 97.3 The Fan. The first Padres TV broadcast looks like it will be February 26th against the Cleveland Guardians at 12:10. And then there's Padres audio, Padres.com audio webcast. There's uh, Padres.com webcast. There's 97.3 The Fan sometimes where that's the only place that you can access the live game. And then there's, it says here MLB Times SD. That's just what Padres TV is. That's, I guess, what they're labeling it as. And then March 15th is going to be the Padres breakout game, the prospects game. And that is going to be also um, a pass-through game from Seattle, but I believe that will be on Padres TV as well. The Padres broadcast team has been announced. We know Mike Pomerantz. Uh, well, actually, Mike Pomerantz's name, as I'm looking here, his name is not in this press release, but I thought he was coming back. Mark Sweeney, we know he is not returning. Annie Hollerburn, she's on 97.3 The Fan with Craig Elston, so she's got a gig. Um, but right now, it says Don Ursillo, Mark Grant, Bob Scanlon, on the radio side, Jesse Agler, Tony Gwynn Jr., Mike Pomerantz's name is not included on here, so I don't know if he is returning. You would think that his name would be on here if he was returning, right? I don't. That doesn't really make sense to not include Mike Pomerantz's name here. But someone that is a new addition to this team is Marilou's Cook. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that name right and I didn't botch that. Uh, Padres say here, she will be a sideline reporter and host for the Padres TV network. Cook brings diverse experience as a sports broadcaster, most recently as a sports anchor uh, for KSL 5 TV. She's got a lot of experience in Utah. Host for Utah Jazz, the Utah Jazz, obviously, in the NBA, the ECHL's Utah Grizzlies, Big Sky Conference, digital media director and broadcast there. Uh, lifelong baseball fan, covered baseball collegiately at Florida Atlantic University. Obviously, San Diego State basketball played that school in the Final Four, so maybe some San Diegans are familiar with that school's name by there. So she will be added. Don't really know about Mike Pomerantz. I thought earlier this offseason it was confirmed, I think in the UT, that Pomerantz was coming back, and it sucks that it, there was a quote in there, I think, with Sweeney, that he couldn't take Pomerantz with him, something like that. So I thought Pomerantz was coming back, but he's not in this. So maybe that was just a, a mess up on the Padres' part here. 
But yeah, Padres TV. It'll be a hundred bucks streaming. I'm sure you can watch it on your phone, iPad, tablet. I'm sure you could connect it to your TV as well. I, I, I hope that is an option here. And I'm sure that Eric Gruppner will be on the radio or he'll, he'll be somewhere. The UT probably will have more information about all of the little things in this. Like, can you put it up on your TV and not have to have cable to watch it on your TV? Will it be available on MLB, through MLB TV, but it's Padres TV technically? Or will you have to download a new app? Will you have to download the Padres app, Padres TV app, in addition to that, to watch the games? Uh, but yeah, it seems like Padres TV, It's they say it's rebranded, direct-to-consumer, and members, I want to point this out because my family has season tickets, so I feel like I need... I'm, I'm paying attention to it, and then I really want to make sure other members know this as well. The Padres say that members are not getting this for free. I know that members, we got the Padres... Not the Padres. We got the all-MLB streaming package. We, got, we usually get that for free, and we're going to get that, the out-of-market MLB TV streaming package, for free. Still be able to watch the entire league for free except the Padres. You have to still pay for the Padres package. That's where the Padres can get their money, obviously, is by having every fan, regardless of if you're regular non-season ticket holder or you have season tickets, every fan will have to pay for Padres TV. I don't know how many accounts will be able to log in and watch the game at the same time. You know, I know that there was that Netflix thing, right? How people Netflix was tracking down, or cracking down, I should say, on that, and they limit the number of logins. But this is the information that we have now. Again, there's if you want to see the entire Padres press release, I will put the link to that in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to put that in the comments, or you can tag me on or message me on social media at Talking Friars, and I'll try to answer that as the, to the best of uh, my ability, the best of my knowledge. But yeah, I think this is good news. Padres TV, hundred bucks for the year. I think that's very good value. When I know it's not 162 games that will be on Padres TV, but it will be a it will be more than 100 games on Padres TV. So you're paying less than a dollar for for these games and be able to stream it. I mean, I like that. 